Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I'm picking up where I left off last time with this LilyGo TTGo T5e paper display board. Make sure to stick around to the very end of the video because I'll be showing you how to display your own custom images on the T5e paper. Watch my previous video to have the requisite libraries in place. And on the subject of my previous video, I have to make a correction. I said the TF card bits did not seem to work. Well, I was mistaken. When running the GX EPD example, the opening screen does accurately display the size of the SD card. Not sure how I missed that. I was reviewing the GX EPD example sketch and I looked at the screen of my T5 and there it was right in front of my eyes. We will explore the TF card more soon. Now, let's finish looking at the GX EPD example sketches. I want to check off all the examples that we can get working on this T5e paper with the latest DEPG0213 display version. I have combed through the GX EPD multi display example and the GX EPD SD example, and I don't see where the current display board on my T5e paper is supported. Make sure to comment down below if you have a workaround for this. But I do see GX EPD U8G2 fonts example will work. We will be adding this U8G2 for Adafruit graphics library, so go ahead and install that right now. Uncomment this board definition. Uncomment the DEPG0213 display include file. Let's go ahead and upload this. Yes, I know, this is just hello world all over again. When you translate the Chinese here, you come to realize this U8G2 library has a ton of fonts in multiple languages. We have a lot more to work with in terms of fonts that we can display on the T5 e-paper screen now. Partial update example seems to have all the moving parts we need. Uncomment this board definition. Uncomment the DEPG0213 display include file. Go ahead and upload that. If you watch my E5 paper videos, you'll understand the value of only updating specific portions of the screen. This is pretty amazing. We'll drill down further into this example on a future video. Now, I really wanted to deliver my own custom graphics example in this video, and it took a bit of work to do this. First, we reverse engineer the GX EPD example program down to just the portion that displays images on the screen. Save the sketch with a new name in a new folder under Documents Arduino. There are several images embedded in this bitmap examples include file that accompanies each display definition in the GX EPD library. You can see I display them all in this example sketch here. You do get a good idea of the graphics capability of the T5e paper. I spent a better part of the day looking, but I did not find a complete explanation of how to get my own graphics to display on the T5e paper. So this is what I've learned, and I'm sharing it with you here because this is what I do on this channel. First, I needed to figure out how to make my own image files. I tried my old go-to source, this image converter, I have used before on my TTGO T display videos but I could not get the output to work in my sketch. There's not a lot of breadcrumbs, but I managed to find my way to this image to CPP converter. We need to process the image first before we can convert it to an include file for the T5e paper in Arduino IDE. 
I'm resizing and resampling in IR Fan View. It's a good image editor tool. I'm not preserving the aspect ratio. I'm going to resize to 250 by 122 pixels. Let's drop the dots per inch down to 16. Now, let's decrease the color depth to two colors. That makes it black and white. Save the file. Now, let's browse to the image to CPP website. Of course, all the links are in the description down below. Select your image. Now, because you have already processed your image previously, you can skip step two. Double check the preview. Generate the code. Now, you copy this code blob and paste it into Notepad. I needed to copy the header from a working image H file to make sure this avr slash pgm space dot h file is included. I got this one copied from bitmap examples h file. Next, I need to define the variable as an unsigned 8-bit integer using the same name as the file name dot h that I will save this file as. And I add this as a prefix to this blob of code. Make sure to go to the end of the code blob and close it off with a curly bracket and a semicolon. Save this file. Now, place your image H files in the same folder as your custom sketch. I spent a few hours working with this, getting the same errors over and over when compiling. If you get errors about converting variable types in your display dot draw bitmap lines, it's likely a result of the variable definition in the ImageH file. Make sure to look through the examples in my GitHub repository link down below. As I said in the beginning of the video, you will need the requisite libraries installed from my previous video. You see, I also 3D printed this breadboard caddy for the T5e paper and soldered on the pins. So, until next time, make sure to check out this video and see how we will be using CircuitO.io to work with some of the sensors from this sensor kit. Stay tuned, and thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.